Hello and welcome to the OC Varsity Baseball Dugout Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus, being joined by Steve Fryer. And wow, what a game we just saw, Steve. Santa Margarita and Mission Viejo in the yeah. wild card round. And you just never know in high school baseball, Mission Viejo takes a 4-3 lead with, what, two outs in the bottom of the seventh. And Santa Margarita gets a walk to tie the game. Corey Mendoza gets hit with the bases loaded to win it. And he was a bloody mess afterwards. It was glorious. Yeah, it was. You know, the dog pile thing got a little out of control here. But, you know, that's the excitement of, uh, of CIF baseball. And, and that has, says a lot about Division One. That's the kind of competition we're going to see in this, in this sort of thing. And, you know, it's such a rough uh, playoff baseball, as Jonathan. I always say that it's the toughest team championship to win because, like this game showed, it's a microcosm of what can happen, guys. You know, one thing doesn't go your way. You know, one guy gets hit by a pitch. You know, one double play you don't turn. One sacrifice bunt works or doesn't work can make the difference because it's single elimination baseball. And in the confines, Jonathan, of a, of a seven inning game, you know, that one ball strike call that doesn't go your way, that one DP you don't turn can change the whole thing and end your season. And speaking of Division One, I, I know we're going to kind of look ahead here, but there's so much great Orange County talent in Division One. You got to start with modern day, of course, but we're looking at possibly an all Orange County Final Four. Well, I think so, and this is the way I kind of got it panned out. You know, modern day with their absolutely ridiculously deep, deep pitching staff. You need two pitchers to, to go in these, these playoffs. They got four, and so they look pretty deep. I like Marina an awful lot. I like their offensive style. I think that they can go a long way in this thing, too. Orange Lutheran looks rock solid. Uh, got a bunch of really good players, you know, number two team 10 out of the Trinity League. Beating Modern Day gives them a heck of a confidence boost, too. Yeah, I would think so, too. And then you've got El Toro, what, you know, their lineup one through nine, as good as anybody. It's got to be as good as anybody in SoCal. And two great pitchers in Ford and Coyota. So, you know, it could be a, an, an all Orange County Final Four in that in that Division One semifinals at Blair Field. Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. Um, moving on to another division, Division Four. We have uh, Sonora in there. And, and who else, Steve? Laguna Beach looks really good. I saw Laguna Laguna Beach play and you know the Orange Coast League you know maybe a lot of people kind of look down their nose at it but I saw that team play and, and play Calvary Chapel another good team but I'll tell you Laguna Beach is really that's a really good baseball team they pitch well they do all the good things uh, right on the field good good fundamentally sound you know good station to station baseball moving guys around they look good and Sonora my golly that Sonora team is really good they got pitching and they got guys that can swing the bat pretty good I like both those teams a lot but there's something going on in that division. There's Oaks Christian of Westlake Village is in that. You know, Oaks Christian, that, that's a Division One or at least Division Two sort of baseball program. You know, it speaks to what I always worry about is that, you know, having these large, very athletically inclined private schools, okay. you know, in a league with some of the smaller and middle-sized sort of public schools just didn't seem right to me. You know, Oaks Christian looks like the class division four, but, you know, Laguna Beach and Sonora, they, they're good enough to go an awful long way in that division. Yeah, our OC teams are pretty good. Oaks Christian, remember, was in the finals against Modern Day in the in inaugural Boris Classic, and Modern Day ended up winning that. All right, thanks to Steve Fryer for dropping all the baseball knowledge. I'm Jonathan Camus, and make sure to check out ocvarsity.com all week for all your latest baseball info. Thanks for watching.